Eric, what was your biggest takeaway from last night? Well, I think I think the biggest thing was is how well the teams played not playing during the preseason. You know, I'm, I'm big on having your players play during the preseason because you get a chance to get a feel for the game, get a chance to tackle, hit. And the offensive line gets a chance to work with the running game. And, um, well, the Cowboys didn't run the football much. But I was surprised how close the game was and how entertaining it was and how well both quarterbacks played. You know, I think, you know, Tom Brady had two interceptions, but I'd say they weren't his, his – I can't say they weren't his fault, but they're still interceptions. And, and the one that Dak threw was, was a great pass. It just wasn't caught. So I was really shocked how well played the game was. Usually you'll hear, oh, man, they not tackled. Oh, man, he dropped that ball or, but they, 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 I got to say, it was, it, was, it was a good game. What surprised me, and here's the reason why, E.D., and tell me if you agree with me. Anytime you allow two quarterbacks to throw the ball over 108 times and you only get one sack, oh, you're going to get some fireworks. I mean, Dak Prescott <laughs> had 58 attempts. He got sacked once. Brady had 50 attempts, and he didn't touch the ground. He got knocked down, but he didn't get sacked, Skip. And when you allow quarterbacks, and E.D., you know this, I don't care how bad you think a quarterback is. If you don't pressure him, he will light you up. And then the greater the quarterback and you don't pressure him, he's really going to light you up. And that's what I we like saw last up. night. I was surprised also, E.D., because I like playing. I needed to play. I needed to get my – I needed to get work on my timing with the quarterback. I needed to get my win. And you see a lot of guys cramping. You see a lot of guys going down. You saw a lot of penalties, a lot of clutching, a lot of grabbing because the guys hadn't played a whole lot in meaningful games. Skip, I understand that now the way they're heading, they're going to these joint practices, E.D., but joint practices is not, it's not, it's not game. It's not nope. preseason games. Officials actually call things like they would actually call it in the preseason like they would the regular season. But last night, Tampa turned the ball over four times, 11 penalties, five to six drops defensively. I was shocked with how poorly their back end played. And I was like, Todd Bowles, why do you keep blitzing? Force Dak to throw the ball in the tight windows because what you're doing is that you're letting him have these easy throws and he was just taking right quick jailbreak, bubble screen, and it was just wide open there for him, for them. This game, look, I didn't expect it to get be the fireworks that it became. I didn't expect almost, what, almost 1,000 yards of total offense. Both quarterbacks were pretty close. If they're not with, for the drop, Dak was... Uh, Tom was going to be well over 400 yards. He was. But uh, yep. yeah, I, that was the thing that surprised me. I thought there would be more. I thought uh, Tampa would get more pressure on Dak. Mm. But uh, 108 pass attempts and only one sack? Yeah, I'm not surprised that the guys almost threw for, <laughs> threw for 800 yards <laughs> passing. Okay, it is my turn to ask my man Eric Dickerson this question. How about them Cowboys, Eric Dickerson? <laughs> you, you, you're you underselling. You, you saw a team that's going to walk away with the East this year and not. be a force in the postseason. You saw a tour de force. You saw a team announced to the nation on national TV last night, we are back because Dak is back. Eric, your response to what I just said, please. Well, I'll say this much. You know, Skip, you know I've always liked Dak. You know, I like Dak as a quarterback. I liked him when I first saw him here in L.A. When, when L.A. when when he played the Rams in a preseason game, I, I like it. I like him as a quarterback. I like to, I like the way he handles the field. I like the way he's he's a, he's a leader of his team. Um, you know, one thing about like you and you said earlier, uh, Shannon, about moral victories. A moral victory. <laughs> There's no such thing. It's like you know what they always say. That's what they say to losers. Man, we almost had that one. Yes. If we wouldn't have ran out of time. We'd have had that. If they wouldn't have called that penalty, we'd have had that. I got to say this for your Cowboys, though, Skip. They did look really good. They, they looked a lot better than I thought they would look, really. Uh, the offensive line played very well against the Tampa Bay's uh, front, yeah. front four. Um, you know, and, and to me, Dallas is a force to reckon with. If they can keep playing like they played and, 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 and also run the football, I think the problem with it is, think about this, Skip, I mean, Shannon, they only ran the football 11 times. You can't run the football 11 times. I mean, you just can't. I mean, not, 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 in, not in have a the kind of season that the Cowboys want to have. I mean, even Tampa ran the football. They're not known to run the football. The Cowboys, even with Dak, they are run first, throw second. Last night, they would throw, 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 okay. run, Got run, it. throw. But Eric, no Zach Martin. He's their best road grader. Zeke said last week he's the best player on the entire offense because they run behind Zach Martin. So both Shannon and I thought yesterday – 
they'll probably just abandon Zeke fairly quickly <laughs> yes. and just throw, 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 throw because they, they feel like they might be able to pass block a little better than run block against the defense that far and away led the league last year in stopping the run. So my question to you is, in the little bits and pieces you saw Ezekiel Elliott, did you see an improved Zeke? Did you see a more in shape? Did you see a quicker, stronger, maybe even faster Zeke last night? You know, it's funny you say that. It was run, run on the sidelines where I see the burst that Zeke had. I mean, he to me, he looks he looks thinner, he looks quicker, yeah. he looks a, a lot faster. And 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 that play where they ran the kind of the option play, you know, you know, going trying to get into the end zone. I mean, you said that you thought a, a younger Zeke would have would have scored here. I, I don't think so. I, I think the, the defensive back just made a great play. You have to sometimes you have to give you it to the defense. The tight, the tight end, the, the, it's the tight end's fault. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he would have walked in if the tight end would have made the block. Because right there, I mean, he is running. The, the cut back inside shows how quick his feet still is. But you've got to get the block by the tight end. This is this is on the tight end right here. But most definitely, I see the Zeke that I saw three or four years ago. Do you? Okay. Well, I'm, I'll take that to my bank. But my <laughs> my problem with that play was that the kid who made the play got elevated from the practice squad. He was undrafted out of UConn. His name is Andrew Adams. Mm -hmm. And he gets thrown into the fire against the Dallas Cowboys. He just had a holding, like a pass interference penalty on Blake Jarwin mm -hmm. when he was running a crossing Cross route. Remember, yep. he just grabbed him and held him. And yet, that's like the play of plays because that thwarted my team taking over the game. That's the first drive of the second half. Look, Eric, maybe I'm overestimating, maybe my, my mind's eye, I'm, I'm like seeing fairy tales, but once upon a time, number no, 21, not, not, when not, he played not, at not the Ohio play, right. State, he, he was unstoppable. <laughs> in, no, in, in that situation, that. he either made you miss or he made you pay because he would just bulldoze you. He, right. he would just run through you because he would not be denied from pay dirt. Skip, all the tight end has to do is go in the market I, I got field shoulder. That, that's it's a walk-in, E.D. Okay, okay, I got exactly. it. Exactly. Okay, but that's <laughs> done. That, that happened because Blake Jarwin is no blocker. He's more of a Shannon Sharp. Skip, type. but that's a safety. <laughs> that ain't, that's not Michael Parsons. That's not Van Der Esch. Okay, well, he didn't that's even. That's not it, it looked to me like he didn't even try. Right, exactly. Okay? Thank you. Tebow, that was old Tebow block. I knew you were going to say that. I knew you were going to call it a Tebow <laughs> block. Okay, I'll give you that. But the point is, it is sort of one on one on the edge with with some undrafted free agent who's bounced around the league for six years, right. and you lose badly. You 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 don't even come close. You lose a yard, right? Yeah. But you, the thing, you didn't even make it back to the line of scrimmage. And I must admit, given what I used to think Zeke was, I was a little disappointed. Well, you can't be skipped because even even guys who are free agent who who, who never played in the NFL they make great plays sometimes they yes. really do. And the one thing about a running back is when you got to start out and cut back in on a defense a defender, the, the, that play goes to the defender. He may, he's making Zeke start outside and have to try to cut back. He can't use his leverage. You know he almost loses it. I have to stop and then cut. Look at it. He has to go out. Now I got to stop and cut back. That's all, that's all to the defender. I got to yep. get a, I got to get the defender credit. It's all on the tight end. Exactly. Man, that's because all he about. has to do, that's Skip, if he goes end. to his upfield shoulder, if Zeke's going to race him to the corner. Now, Zeke, you're going to like, ooh, look at Zeke's burst to the corner. And if he cuts it way back, Antoine. And he gets pushed outside. Yes. Okay. All you got to do is just stay on his upfield shoulder and let Zeke rush, rush him to the corner. Okay. It was perfect. Okay. Eric, I guarantee you that 10 days from now, Zach Martin will be back because he went through COVID. Mm -hmm. So he will be eligible and I hope healthy again. And he will be in the starting lineup at Chargers. They, they are the Clippers to your Rams, right? The Chargers. <laughs> but they, they're, they're about as good as the Clippers are right now. Yeah. They're coming, yeah. right? Yeah. So it will be a very difficult road game for my team to win. But I guarantee you, if you're right about Zeke being three or four years ago, Zeke, He's going to get a bunch of carries in that game, and I will bet you they balance it up because they will run behind Zach. Zeke behind Zach. Well, you definitely won't be, be fooling with Joey Bosa because Joey Bosa is, a, is, is an animal. You know, he, yeah. can, he can bend that edge. He's as good as we have in the NFL at putting pressure on the quarterback. And they have Derwin James. Yep. He's a difference maker well, in that is. secondary. Yeah, I, I and they got it. your guy. Isn't your guy still there? No, he's not there. He, didn't know he's, he went to your team. He went to the Broncos? Yeah. Ah! 
show is over. Yeah, it's We're going to beat y'all, too. Okay. No, I'm sorry. You went to the Raiders. Oh. Uh, Casey Hayward. Yeah. Talking about. I went to the Raiders. We're going to beat y'all. Okay. So, wrap it up for us, Eric Dickerson. My Dallas Cowboys will go how far this year after what you saw last night? You know, it's hard to say after watching one football game, but if, but if you had to just, just go up one game, one game, one game only, I, I would say that most definitely I think the Dallas Cowboys win the NFC, NFC least, NFC East for sure. I mean, they, they looked really, really good against a team that you say that's going to go 20-0. and 0. I don't believe they're going to go 20-0. I think we'll that's get impossible. To that in just a minute. But, but, if, but if I you're really right about my Cowboys, Cowboys, he's going to owe me a mountain of Diet Mountain Dew. A mountain. Well, what, 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 what happens when you see how Washington football team looks on Sunday? How they look? What about the Eagles? Mm, they get to play the Chargers, so we'll see how they Yeah, exactly. Mm. <laughs> Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show, and be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed, or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on FS1.